Hi, you guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm so super excited to bring a new product to show you guys, and that is from the Rusted Orange Craftworks Co. Do you want to know what's in my boxes? <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So one of these was sent to me for review. So thank you so much for sending me your product to show my viewers. I greatly do appreciate it. One of them was purchased by me and I'm so super excited. So a little bit of a backstory. This company got a hold of me and they asked if I'd be interested in signing up to their affiliate program. And I was like, hmm, every time I get any type of an email, I always go and check out, you know, what it is before I decide what I want to do. So I went to their site and I see they have so many amazing things, a lot of stuff that can be personalized, monograms, your initials, it could be your whole name. You can do things for your door, for your wall. It can be ornaments for the tree. So that's great gift ideas for next Christmas coming up if you wanna give somebody a custom ornament or something to hang on their wall. That is a great idea. They have amazing like door wreaths. They have even address markers. They have so many different things. And I went to their menu and the little drop down to see, you know, what all that they had. And I saw one that said garden. <laughs> if you guys follow me, you know I have my garden. But today you will see a little bit of my garden because this is going to go in my garden. So again, when I went to the site and I saw these, I'm like, oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh. So when I first started my garden, um, I had little markers, like little wooden markers that I put, I think I wrote, hand wrote, or I think I hand wrote with like a paint marker what they were and put them out and they started like falling apart and I was like, okay, I need to come up with another solution. So I ended up getting like galvanized steel that was left over from one of our projects. I think the retaining wall, like the privacy wall we did. Either way, we had some of that. So I cut them. I literally just cut them out into like circles, not circles, but you know, this kind of a shape. And then I bought a different type of wood, which I thought was going to last. And then I glued it to that. And then I had like a wooden stick that I glued. And then I put the name on it. On that one, I think I did write the name out of marker as well. I think that was before I was using my Cricut. It might have even been before I even got my Cricut. Either way, those then started falling apart and I was just like so devastated because I put so much time and effort into those. Like I literally painted the wood so it all matched. I did so many steps into making those look nice and they all just fell apart. And so that was a whole waste of my time and everything. So then I went and got like these little plastic ones so then I could use my Cricut and put the vinyl letters so then it would last. Well, then the little plastic things were way smaller in person than I thought they were going to be and I couldn't find anything bigger. So that's what I ended up settling with and that's what I have in my garden now. And when, when I tell you that I saw this and when I saw these, I was super, super excited because I now know, I believe, <laughs> this is going to solve my problem with my plant markers. So now you're gonna know what this is. So basically, they said that I can pick anything from their site and tell them what that item number was. And I was like, well, I really, really want these. So I don't know how many you'll send me, but whatever is an addition, I'm purchasing myself. And that's what I did right here. So this one, they kindly sent me a seven piece, which is really neat because you can purchase these individually and they have different styles, different sizes. I opted to the big boy, the biggest one. I think it's 15 inches long just because I have a big size garden and I, I just, you know, go big or go home. <laughs> so I thought this will definitely solve my problem and I'm so, so excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the one that they had sent to me, which would be one of the seven piece sets. Now they did generate my own code. Let me just throw that out there right now. If you do want to go to their website, anything that is a regular priced item, you can use She Crafty to get 20% off. So keep that in mind. If there's anything that you would like to check out, you can follow the link down below and She Crafty will get you that 20% off. So again, let's go ahead and open this one. I'm gonna show you this one seven piece set. And um, again, you can purchase them individually. I think this style, don't quote me on it, I believe I will show you on the side, but I believe they're $12.95 or $11.95 each, 
or you can get them in a set of seven, which it, there's like, I think four different sets that you can pick from, or there's a pick your own. So they sent me one of the sets. I believe the one I chose was on the vine. So that's what should be in here. And then I went through and did the pick your own and did three different sets of seven to pick my own to finish everything else for my garden beds. I do still need to place one more order. I'm going to get another set of seven and do like strawberry, blueberry, uh, raspberry, grape. The, the other ones that are like not literally in my garden beds, but off to the side that I just didn't feel like doing now because I got three of them. So I will eventually get another set of them to finish the other side. But I'm super excited. Look at this, you guys. This is how long it is. Now, this is a, um, I think it's a, let me see what if it tells me what kind of material it is right here. It says to be careful because the edges could be sharp. This is unsealed steel. Now, I did get an email instantly after placing my order and it did say, you know, when it comes, be careful because it could be sharp edges because this is, you know, they they make it, they etch it out of the steel. But they say a lot of people like the patina of how it looks when it gets character as it rusts, as it is. But if you do not want it to rust, all you need to do is use a rust-oleum, like the clear rust-oleum, to spray over it to protect them. So that's what I'm going to do. I think they look really cool when they are all nice and rusted. So eventually, if they do, it's even better for me. But I do want to give it a nice little good shot starting out. So I'm going to use the Rust-Oleum. I already purchased that can when I went to Home Depot last week to get all my soil and all my soil and all my soil that I was doing. <laughs> because holy moly. But um, I have the can already. So now I'm going to go outside because this one came two days ago. And now my set just arrived. So now I'm going to go and lay them all out. And I'm going to start painting them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on the back side. Paint them paint them like two two or three thin coats then I'm going to flip them to the front just in case it gets stuck or anything it'll be on the back and you won't see it so I want the top to be perfect well as perfect as I can get it <laughs> so again this is the size of them let me unwrap this so I can show you exactly what they look like and if anybody knows the struggle that I went through time and time and time and time again with the ones that I did then you know how excited I am right now. I am right now. <laughs> like this is so exciting, you guys. Plus, I'm so glad I was introduced to this company just because even if you know somebody who's having like a housewarming party or a wedding or a baby, you can pick out like several different things custom and have it made. So I definitely, definitely am so glad that I was introduced to this company, not just for these garden <laughs> Not just for these garden steaks that I'm absolutely so excited about, but just all around in general, because I feel like that would be a great place to shop for gifts. Like I said, if anybody has any type of an occasion at their house, or you just want to get something with your own last name to put on your door or your own marker or something on the wall, a wreath, that kind of thing. So definitely go check them out if you want. She Crafty will get you that 20% off. And I'm so, 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 so excited. So again, this one was the On The Vine set. It comes with cherry tomato, which I did purchase regular tomato in the other one. But this one just had the cherry tomato. It has zucchini. Pumpkin, which now that I have my chickens, I'm going to be growing pumpkin when watermelon is not in season so they can be getting pumpkin. So I was so excited when that was in there. There's squash, beans, peas, and cucumbers. So literally every single one of these in this seven piece set I'm going to be using. So there was seven to start me off. Look at how nice and large and just, oh, that is gonna look so good in my garden you guys oh my goodness so now I'm gonna open up my order so you can see all of the other ones that I purchased so there's the three different sets okay so I contacted them and I asked them since they do everything personalized if I can get one of them to say coolantro now the person that I spoke to said no problem I can go ahead and just swap one of yours out or if you place a new order, I can just change it. And I was like, well, I already did place an order. I gave them my order number. And I said, I did get three tomatoes. If you wanna just take one of the tomatoes off and do a coolantro, that would be perfect. But they substituted it for a cilantro instead of a coolantro. So I'll get a hold of them and see, but I'm still super excited that now everything else 
until I can get that one corrected, <laughs> we'll have a marker. <laughs> so what I purchased in my order, I got watermelon, mint, peppers, thyme, basil, and tomatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, nope. Well, I guess one of the cilantros goes in here because it's seven in a set. So this would be one set right here. Jalapeno, mint, oregano, parsley, rosemary, snap peas, and tomato, bell pepper, butternut for the butternut squash, cabbage, cabbage, because I do have that in two locations for the chickens, carrots, dill, and then a, another cilantro. <laughs> so that is all of them. Again, my three orders and then the one that they had sent to me. So that's four different orders of seven each that I have now. So let's go ahead and get outside. Let's get to painting them with the Rust-Oleum to protect them and then we'll get them in the garden and I can show you how they look. So this is the can that I said I purchased. I know you can get it anywhere. I got mine at Home Depot, but you can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's, I'm sure Walmart, anything like that that sells spray paint. This is the Rust-Oleum crystal clear enamel and I did want to just update you guys after filming yesterday with unboxing them I looked at my packing slip and on the packing slip it says replace one tomato with culantro and then I was thinking about it. I was like I bet you whoever was doing it was thinking that it was supposed to be cilantro and it was just a spelling error that's why I got to cilantro so when I wrote the company which for one they have extremely fast customer service they are so sweet and helpful if you have any questions you can reach out to them that was a completely different team than the first team that reached out to me from the marketing team so when I've been contacting was the actual company and like I said they responded very very quick they're extremely professional so if you have any questions or anything you can email them they will get back to you quickly and efficiently but when I wrote them I was like I can see on the packing slip that it says to replace it with the culantro so I don't know if someone thought that was a misspelling and she wrote back and she's like I'm not gonna lie that's exactly what happened <laughs> so apparently they were thinking it should have been cilantro not culantro and now the office over there knows what culantro is because they looked it up I didn't even know what it was until probably two or three years ago tops so I was in my 40s <laughs> until I finally knew what a culantro was so you live and you learn. I was like, hey, at least we had a fun laughing experience with this one. So they are going to be sending me one culantro, so I will have that soon. And then I'll just paint that one to put in and then I'll have everything and I'm so excited about it. But today we're gonna go ahead and start painting everything else to get those prepped and ready. So then once I do get that culantro, everything will be finished. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and shake this baby up. I'm gonna put a table out with some cardboard so then I can just go ahead and start painting. So the first side is done, let's flip them over and do the other. So I wanted to show you how they look now that they are completely dried and they are protected now on both sides. Nothing did stick to the actual cardboard or anything. I got no drips. It literally dried so well. I have no issues on any of them and I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and put them in their new home. And I did use this entire can for both sides to make sure it was nice and coated. So I can take all of these out and now have all of the new ones up. I do have the replacement. So let's go ahead and open this one. If it is, then I can just get this painted, put this in the garden and I will have it all done. I'm so excited. So let's see if there's a U and there is, oh my gosh. It says Coolantro. I am so, so excited. They're so nice. They just look nice in the garden. So let's go ahead and get this one painted, get it in the garden. You can see them all complete. Oh, 
Okay, so the first coat is done. I did a nice thick coat and it dried perfectly. So let's flip it over and do the other side. Okay, so let's go put the final piece to the puzzle. Okay, so now let's go and show you every marker in my garden. Here is the parsley, culantro, cilantro, thyme. We have rosemary. Right here is my whole oregano area. I want that just to grow full. So there's oregano, basil, dill. Back here, I do have beans. This is the cucumber area, which the cucumbers, the beans, and the peas are not in season currently, so I'm gonna start them from seed. I did place another order of seven markers plus two additional. I have snap peas, peas, and so I ordered snow peas because I will be growing all three. Again, I will be starting them from seed. I do have one thing right there that says tomato, so I am gonna order one more tomato so each one can have its own marker. Here's the mints, my carrots, cabbage. That's all for the girls. Over here are the bell peppers. So I have the bell pepper and I have the three different colors, one of each. And then over here, these are both jalapeno. This is a pepper, but they are not selling that one just yet, so I need to start that one by seed as well. Over here with the cabbage, we have a little freeloader. We have these everywhere, these little wizards. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hanging out and getting a suntan. Here's some more mint. The same thing applies with the butternut squash, the regular squash, and the zucchini. It is not in season, but at least it has its markers, so I know what will be there. Here's a standard tomato, and here is a cherry tomato. But oh my gosh, look at how nice they stand out. I think they just look amazing. Over here, I do have two more. So this is the area where half of it is going to be for pumpkin and then the other half is watermelon or one of each depending on what is in season. So this one here says pumpkin and watermelon. And with my order, I will be getting a blueberry, a grape, a strawberry, berry, and another blueberry for this one, potato and onion for those. And yeah. So I cannot wait until my other order comes in. I will show you guys when that comes in because I did order something else as well. But oh my gosh, they have super fast shipping. These look phenomenal. Comment down below and let me know what do you think? Are you agreeing with me? I just solved my problem from my garden markers. Oh my gosh, this just looks so nice. Don't forget you can check them out down below. She Crafty will get you 20% off any regular priced item if you are interested. Again, I will show you my new markers plus one other thing that I bought to add to this area that will be coming, I know, soon because they ship super, super fast. So comment down below and let me know. Your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I'll see you on the next one. Crafty Crew, out.